Um, Mr. Rochester sitting on my lap, so I thought I'd let him just sit there. So he's so cute. So today's um, November was Guilty Bystander, starring my favorite Zachary Scott and Faye Emerson. Um, the only version I could find was a pretty bad public domain version, uh, which is too bad. Uh, it's a pretty good movie. It's from 1950. It was directed by Joseph Lerner and is one of the last, if not the last, screen performances of Mary Boland, um, who was in like a million things, including the women. You know, look her up. She'll be, you'll be like, oh yeah, her. Um, a happy cat. So it starts out, um, Faye Emerson finds, goes to find Zachary Scott, who is her ex-husband, and he now, he used to be a detective, but now he's um, the house, or he used to be a police officer, police detective, and now he's the house detective at a really seedy hotel that's run by a friend of his, but mostly he's just a drunk who hangs out in his room. Turns out his ex-wife has come to see him because her brother and their son, the son of Zachary Scott and Faye Emerson, has, uh, they've gone missing, and she wants him to help find them. And that goes the rest of the plot. And I don't really want to go into the rest of the details because it's a lot of twists and turns and things and it'll spoil stuff. But um, if you like Zachary Scott, as I do, you'll you'll enjoy him. It was kind of nice to see him as the, like, anti-hero as opposed to the villain because he's often the villain in movies like Mildred Pierce. Um, and Faye Emerson is so beautiful. Another movie with the two of them is Mask of Demetrios, which is, like, from, like, ten years earlier and highly recommended. Um... It was only 120 minutes, but it felt a lot longer. Like, the pacing's a little low, a little slow. Um, but the dialogue's all really hard-boiled. And um, it's, until the la literally the last 30 seconds, it's a very bleak film. Like, bleak, 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 bleak. People are getting shot. People are, you know, everything is gross and seedy and dark and it's like, nighttime all the time basically um and then it has this like happy 50s ending and you're just like really um makes me think you know the studio or whoever I was putting it out I was like we need we need um Norman Rock Rockwell at the end we need that so um yeah it had a score by Dimitri Tiomkin who's fantastic like he's one of the great old Hollywood um composers. So 1950, Guilty Bystander, definitely a good November pick. <laughs>